Butterscotch Biscuits, it's so nice of you to join me again. I have a story for you. My favorite part of Chainlink history was when Vitalik fudded it twice. Yes, Vitalik, the genius creator and founder, or foundee, depending if you're wearing pants or not, of Ethereum. Fudded it two times, not once, twice. And I want you to see what actually happened. The first time he did it, <laughs> there's a quote here, friends. I mean, he's never going to live this down, right? He goes, endorse Chainlink is such a strong word. Oracles are awesome, but it's much harder to argue that oracles are worth $32 million. Now, when he said this, bang, it pumped 400x from that point. That's wild. It's going to be up 1,000x one day from that. It's got to hit $150. Guarantee, look, that's going to be a sight to see if that ever occurs. I hope it does. I hope our bag's pumped too because I've been in chaining for a long time. I would like it to see itself much higher as everybody else will because, you know, it's it's scary. I mean, this is a genius saying you ain't really worth that much. So the chain link was 13 cents and then it went to 50 bucks. But there was another time that chain link was fudded by Vitalik. All right. Now I've got a juicy show for you, friends. I mean, we're getting real juicy now. Vitalik actually tried to assassinate chain link. That's right. In an indirect way. He proposed that fake DeFi Uniswap should become an Oracle token. I know you don't believe me. It's actually right here. It's true. Uni should become a Vitalik, an Oracle token from V Buterin. Okay. Isn't it wild? That's crazy. How could you do this? Now, when was this, by the way? This was literally at the top. This is May 2021. All right. This was at the top. Fantastic to see. Right. Now, why was he doing this? Well, I know there are reasons. All oh, the ETH maxis, people are going to say, no, but he meant something else. I don't care. All right. I don't care. I know what it means. You all know what it means. All right. I know how these guys work. Vitalik is is basically like Switzerland. They never go out and publicly attack with venom. They do it in a roundabout way. Another thing that Ethereum, the mindset uh, is, is when they want to implement pumper mentals for Ethereum tokenomics, they don't go out and say number go up. They use different words and they implement things like the burning and they, they'll make a mathematical formula for a new proposal. And if you check it out, you're like, wait a minute, you just... You're trying to get your bag to pump, but you're just you're using these complex words and these algorithms to try to explain to people why this is necessary. But really, they don't actually need it to be done that way. It's, it's actually fascinating to see. I'm like the only person going like, can we just admit we're just here to get the bags pumped? You don't have to say all these burning and all this other stuff. And it's fantastic to know, actually. It's actually fantastic to know that this happens, but... Aren't you glad you got a friend like me who makes you like, subscribe, press the belly button, all, and shock the algorithm, family-friendly show? I'm here to tell you, everybody's playing the game. They just use different words. Now, when it came to this chain link FUD, it wasn't interpreted as chain link FUD, but this is where it gets a bit, a bit, a bit sad, okay? Because from May 2021, instead of listening to Lord Vitalik, the Archangel, fake DeFi Uniswap, they instead they sent their efforts into making the centralized Uniswap X. And yes, it is X rated. Why? No children allowed. Uniswap X is a permission required protocol update feature thingy-majig for Uniswap. It's off chain. All right. Don't forget this. Okay, whenever you see someone write off chain, you go, uh-oh, naughty things are happening here. You can do anything here. Now, I want to reiterate, if you go and listen to the interviews with Hayden, he says, no, it's not permission required. It's permissionless, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe it. All right. I don't believe it. I know how it starts. Okay. That's how the snowball starts. And that's where it's going to go. It's going to become centralized. All right. They start as a little snowflake. Okay, a tiny little snowflake, like, oh, we little snowflake, no, 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 no. How the hell do you end up as this big snowball? You start off as a snowflake, there you go, it becomes a big avalanche, always. You can see the snowflake. This is how it happens. 
You know, people can also say, well, why don't you wait until it happens? No. How about I help you not to buy the VC infested bags of fake DeFi governance? And how about we actually try to figure out a better way? Because their ultimate goal is to grift us. All right. So I'm not telling you to buy Chainlink. I don't care. Go sell it. Go get short. I don't really care. Go do what you want. I'm just telling you, these people who you think they're on our side, they're not. They're now worth billions. They're not on our side anymore. They can't be worth on our side. Their goal is to protect the bag by telling you that there's more to come, but without actually doing anything. Why? It's because they're tainted by the government now. The corrupt SEC, JP Mosquito, Golden Slugs, Bank of Ants, City Bug. They are tainted. The tentacles are in. And they can't implement all these pumpamental things anymore. Why? It's because when the tentacles are trying to strangle the crypto industry, the crypto industry will then say, excuse me, you let Uniswap do all the pumpamental coin features. How come you can't let us? They're too smart for that. So it won't happen. They're told, put on the brakes. They're told that. Now, it wasn't so easy, by the way. So you're fighting all this. As the coin's going down, sinking into oblivion, and here I am to tell you, right, during the 2022 bear market, it was very hard to sit there every day watching Chainlink go down, Sergey's dumping on us, people are saying, oh, they're going to keep dumping and dumping, and it's, it's, yeah, everybody dumps in every coin, by the way, baby dolls, that's how you get growth, everybody wants to get a piece of the treasury because they're, they're expecting for it to go much higher, high inflation, high growth at the start. I would literally grab my balls every day just to see if they were there. It was a very sweaty time period. Of course, the whole market went down, okay? We look back, we're like, wow, everybody went down. But yes, but it's not so easy. You're looking now, but during the red candles, everyone's like, well, you're an idiot. You know, that coin over there, yeah, it was never going to go up because of reason X, Y, and B. That's what they say. But as a final note, all right, so just because I, I carry these trophies, but you just be careful, all right? Okay, because I'm, I'm going to please beg you, do not think you can get away with fading Vitalik or any high individual on a consistent basis. Do you understand? You can't. For example, yes, we faded Warren Buffett in crypto, but you give me 20 scenarios out there, I am basically going in on Warren 20 times out of 20. All right, non-crypto. It's the same thing with Vitalik. And we're going to do Richard Hart. Any other genius out there? Elon, I don't want to fade them. It's, it's very hard. Okay, you're not going to make it consistently. They're there for a reason. They are the people who have all the glory. We're just peanut brains. We're, we're outsiders. So, for example, another famous one. Richard Hart kept calling for $10,000 Bitcoin. I was there every day. I was paying attention. Okay. He, he was adamant. So, I was adamant. We had bottom. Then he was adamant. We're going to 10K. I thought, well, I think we're done. And we were done. And we were so done that I was tweeting like a madman. He's showing you, showing you the bankless guys. Dave, Mr. David Hoffman, he was crying on camera. It was full on depression. People saying, I'm actually so embarrassed to call myself in this crypto industry right now. I was showing to you. Everyone kept calling for that 10K. Everyone, you know, people messaging me every day saying, how dare you assume you are smarter than 10,000 X genius founder Richard Hart. You know, it's interesting now. Nobody dares to say that. Why? It's because Hex dropped minus 99.5% and the horror show of the price action has made everybody go down. So friends, you see, it's not so easy. Everyone's constantly rolling the dice, okay? So what does this coin have to do with the predictions? Richard Hart's prediction could still come true. It's just that nobody even dares entertain it anymore because they're like, oh, well, your coin went down, didn't it? Your coin went down to the gulags. This is what they're showing. They're like, well, you know, you told me this had amazing code. Well, minus 99.5%. So... Don't play this game. Just don't play this game. You're never going to make it. All right, there's only one GCR. There's only one gigantic Cascock Reaper, the Grim Reaper, okay? The last R word is Rebirth if you want to look him up, but he doesn't post anybody, okay? The Grim Reaper, I call him. There's only one of them, friends. There's only one. And yes, in these pockets of time, I'll be able to figure these out, but I'm here 18 hours a day. What about these other issues we're not paying attention to? So just remember, even though those ones happened, you run that scenario 20 times, you got to bet on the genius. You just, you do, on average, on average. So that's why I do see today, there are actually many Ethereum maxis. They are still sticking to Vitalik's love of pooping on 
Chainlink, which is fascinating. Chainlink is trying to level up Ethereum. Why is pooping on it? And then you actually realize something. Uh Uh-oh. I know why they're pooping on it. And that's because if Chainlink grows, okay, let's actually just write Linky. If Chainlink grows with the CCIP tech, there's a problem for Ethereum. Do you know what the problem is? The problem is that Ethereum is not the center of the world anymore. The problem is that ETH is just this decentralized pirate island over here. And we're going to put the, we're going to put a boat here with a little pirate flag. Okay. That's the little pirate flag. That's what Ethereum is. But there are going to be other private blockchains sitting around as well and other centralized private centralized chains that exist you know let's just write pls don't even, it's not it's not it's not centralized it's decentralized but you get the point you can just all these other ones just write all these other chains okay you can even write xrp maybe xrp gets an evm you see this ccip lets everyone connect okay now you might say to me hey but all the money's on ethereum i go yeah yeah but what if you're an entrepreneur all right, here's your entrepreneur. You're going to make a smiley face app. What if you're an entrepreneur and you want to do something for Pulse Chain? If Pulse Chain gets connected with chain, CCIP, by the way, friends, we're talking like five to 10 years as the years go on, right? There's more complicated infrastructure bill and the rails get better and smoother, okay? But now you're this super application. You don't need to go build directly for Ethereum anymore. You can grab Pulse Chain user data and it, all our wallets, you can grab our Ethereum data too. And maybe even private bank blockchains. Maybe even like health records from another country because you want to do something cool. Do you see this? This is a multi-chain world. Okay. What happens here? You see Ethereum is meant to be the be all and end all. The decentralization. Maximum perspective. So now it makes sense, right? When you think about it philosophically, you're like, oh, okay, you guys already made your thousand X on ETH. You really don't want Chainlink to win. (laughs) You don't at all because Chainlink gives credibility to poop. Now, what does poop mean? In Ethereum, Maxi's eyes, every other chain is basically poop because they're not as focused on decentralization. Ethereum has a decentralization at all costs meme, but if you watch my earlier videos, you remember... Bitcoiners laugh at Ethereum. They go, decentralization, you guys had a pre-mine, right? So it's, see, everybody's slinging poop at each other, friends. That's why nobody's better than each other. We're all human. We've got beating hearts. We've all got souls. We're all going to the same place. Just everybody chill out, okay? We're here for green candles. So this is the world that seems to be fleshing out. But at the end of the day, we need these super applications. What's a super application? I don't know. Uber, something like friend tech, whatever they keep inventing, we hope it keeps pushing the industry forward. And that's exactly what it's going to do. Don't fade Vitalik on his next ideas, but just be careful, okay? These are rare moments. I remember these for life. I'm like, man, it was really hard to fade Vitalik and really hard to fade Richard Hart in those moments. But, you know, don't take them all the time because they're like, history is full of people trying to do that and they're not around. Why? They just became ghosts, right? Haunting the graveyard. But you're not going to haunt the graveyard because me and you are going to be friends forever. We're going to make it to the moon. Like, subscribe, belly button on. Catch you next one.